Hey everybody, uh, welcome to this first little tutorial that I'm going to make to try to help people get started with the epgp.net website. Um, what we're going to do in this tutorial is get your guild set up right away. So the first thing you've done is you've somehow downloaded the epgp classic add-on. You heard about this epgpweb.com website and you went there and it looks like it's from 2002. And you decided, I'm going to go to the forums and ask about this. And you saw my post. And you said, oh, that's an alternative. I'm going to go check that out. And you looked at it and you said, oh, that looks like it was made this century. And you thought, how do I get started? You logged in with Discord. And this is where you're at. And you saw this and you were confused. Uh, if that was you, then you are not alone. Uh, this video is for you and the other people who have asked for this video. So uh, the first thing you need to do is after you've logged in, you'll notice this uh, button shows up as EPGP standings. This EPGP standings is where you go. It's sort of like your your one-stop shop once you get the add-on. This link over here just gets you to download the add-on. Then you have your Discord link. And over here, the About page. This just gives people the About uh, information. So we'll go back to the EPGP standings. This is what it looks like when it's all set up. Obviously, this is my account that I'm logged in as. But uh, if you're just logging in and you are an administrator or you have the Manage Guild permission in Discord, this is all based off of your Discord information because we're logging in with Discord and using that information. You have this, this stuff going on here. So you can add EPGP to that Discord. So you'll click this button. And now we've started a new guild. Uh, this new guild will now show up if I go back to the standings. You'll see that I now have two guilds over here. One, my Trumpet X bots, which is uh, the channel I use for all the different bots I make for Discord. Um, you'll see that I noticed 17 guilds now instead of 16, so we've increased the guild count by one. And I can now I can delete the guild. If I delete it, I'm not sure. The data's gone. So please don't do that unless you know what you're doing. You must have the admin or manage guild permission to do it, so hopefully you know what you're doing. Uh, we're going to add it back. It comes back, but the data is gone if you were to delete it. Uh, the first thing you can do is the Discord bot. You can set up the Discord bot by clicking this link. If you click this Discord bot, it has not been added to your server and you can add it. This is a link here to authorize disc the Discord bot and add it to your server. So if you click that link, it comes over here and it says, what do you wanna add the bot to? So we can add it to the Trumpet X bots and we give it all the permissions we need to. If you don't give one of these permissions, I'm not sure it's gonna work for you. I think send messages. Uh, it doesn't do manage messages. Well, it deletes messages when it does. So yeah, you probably need to give it all those uh, those permissions. I'm not a robot. Yeah, crosswalks. Probably tell me I'm wrong too. Oh, I got it right. Excellent. So authorize and close this tab. If I go back to my Discord window, uh, which I don't have set up for this capture, uh, you'd see that it was now enabled. So now we've set up the Discord bot. I will create another video to show how to hook up the web, the webhook and to show off the bot stuff. But here we're just getting started with the website. So now if I go back to EPGP standings, I have set up my bot. Uh, I can't really do much custom, guild customization right now, but I can upload a backup. And that's where we come to the game. So if I open up EPGP inside the game, you'll see a familiar screen here. You got your guild, you got your EPs and your GPs and your PRs, it's all the same. You have this button down here in the lower right hand corner, it's called the logs. If you click this button, you'll see there's this personal action log, keeps track of all the stuff that's happened uh, that you've been doing. You can export detail or export. This export detail is a massive amount of data. It's redonkulously big. So we're not gonna do export detail. Uh, right now we're just working with the export button. So you can click the export button and you end up with this bit of JSON here. So I can click this, control A for uh, select all, Control C for copy, close, alt tab to my browser, and now I can come over here and I can upload backup. When I upload the backup, paste your JSON back up here. If you put in something like, that's not JSON, hopefully, our, yeah, we give ourselves some error messaging. See, that worked. I'm happy about that. Uh, upload backup. Now this time I'm going to properly paste the JSON and upload that backup. Boom, instant. You're set up. Your guild can now come to this URL here at the top. Uh, that you can copy and paste, and they can see this data. And you'll notice the data, it's pretty, but it's not quite as pretty as what I was showing you with my, my guild. That's because this data in this export, it has no information about your characters other than the gear they've taken in the last 30 days and their names. 
So I don't even know what uh, class they are based off of that information. So right now, uh, until you know some more information can either get added to that or um, we work some other, something else with the, with the add-on author, um, this is what we got. You can customize that. I can go to the Customize Guild tab. Here, I know uh, Kitiyanya, she is a priest, and I can set her uh, class there. Um, she's also an officer, so I can say, oh, put a little note here. She's an officer in her alias. We're not going to change the alias here. I can submit that. So you'll see that it now shows up Kitty Anya as an officer. We can sort by class, and she shows up. This is slow. It's, uh, you know, it's not going to be the fastest way to do it uh, when you're first coming in. So there is this other option. You can go to advanced mode. Advanced mode just gives you, this is the actual data under the covers, which the, the, this is stored in. Uh, and so I can go to Gardakai and I can type in uh, Druid Lathan is a Warlock. Uh, the Hammers are Resident Rep Pally. Rencha. You get the idea. I'll put in a few more. Again, there's a Warlock. Submit that, and you'll see that all the people that I just added there, that customized guild stuff, it sort of pre-populated uh, those, those things here. Uh, additionally, uh, we can see the loot items taken, and this is on my Firefox. I think it's one of these add-ons I have, like HTTPS Everywhere, I think is the one that does it. But my uh, Wowhead tooltips aren't showing up. I think if I undid this, one of these guys here, we'll turn that off maybe. It's one of the, one of my add-ons will do it. Anyway, so you you get this idea here, and then you, these are Wowhead tooltips. Maybe I'll redo this video with the pretty uh, with the pretty tooltips. And we have this graph. Not much of a graph going on here because we have one bit of data. Um, but stay tuned for another video, and I'll just show off a few more of the features of the add-on. But this should get you going. Um, get your guild up and running. Get your guild information. Share this URL with your guild up here, up in the tab. They can just paste it in. And once they log in with Discord, again, they must be a Discord member to access this. They're logging in with Discord. They're authenticated with Discord. Whether or not they can access the Trumpet X bots is whether or not they're a member of the Trumpet X bots Discord server. So it's all Discord-based, um, which is we're assuming that the guild here matches your, uh, your, your, your Discord membership. Um, but it doesn't necessarily have to. You can you can work it with the external writers uh, at home. But that's pretty much it. Stay tuned for more videos to learn how to use EPGP. Thank you very much for watching.